No Riley and Vidil won Game 8 of the FNTS Week 3 qualifiers with 11 kills. So let's look at how they find Surge, find kills in Endgame, and much more that you will need to watch till the end of the video to see. No Riley and Vidil land at North Slappy Shores and are contested. No and Vidil make sure that they are being extremely careful by constantly using the Falcon Scout drone to find information onto the team contesting them. No and Vidil don't end up fighting this team because they can't find a clear advantage to fight off of, so they rotate out north and end up looking down right onto a duo at Krusty Crates. Vidil and Noah Riley set up a perfect 3-2-1 and get an instant knock onto one of the players. They then chase down the second player and get both kills. Noah and Vadil already knew about this easy opportunity for a 3-2-1 near them, and they already had a plan so that they could go up onto this hill and find these eliminations. Noah and Vadil then rotate down towards the dead side of the first zone in the zone, and they stay on the coastline so that they can find extra heals from fishing containers and campfires. Once Noah and Vadil get into the zone, they hear a player get cracked and try and jump on this duo. Noah and Vadil start to pressure one of the players together, but the other player from this duo had snuck up onto Noah and was able to get a huge shot onto him. But Vadil shows his great chemistry with Noah Riley by instantly tuning his attention to the player pressuring Noah Riley and they are able to 2v1 aim duel this player and get the kill. Vidil then gets knocked from the other player and Noah has to close out the 1v1. Noah pressures his enemy and correctly predicts that he will go up out of his box so Noah has his crosshair already placed there so he can quickly finish off the kill. From here Noah and Vidil play edge dead side second zone and edge dead side third zone. This allows them to rotate into the fourth zone very quickly and be able to ramp over the teams who are already positioned in the fourth zone. This is really important because Noah and Vidil are playing this game without hammer. So by playing on a high elevation on the fourth zone it allows them to better scout rotate paths if the 50-50 were to play the max distance. The 50-50 zone plays very close to Noah and Vidil though, so Vidil just quickly tarps into the 50-50 zone. Noah and Vidil pull a close diagonal first moving, and so they quickly drop down onto the low ground and tarp the first moving, sticking to the complete left side of the zone and working their way into the expanding side of the zone. This allows them to save a lot of materials as there are very few players around them to spray them, and they don't have to worry about their floors because they're the low ground team. The second moving zone plays backwards through a lot of old builds, and Noah Riley and Vidil play it perfectly, playing right next to each other on the front side low ground on the edge of the zone. This allows Noah and Vidil to swing onto many players' walls together and almost always guarantee to get themselves the kills because of their player advantage. When going for one of these kills, Noah cracks a player and because of his zero chance augment, he now has the zero point effect. Noah uses this to jump right into the player who he cracks box by breaking his opponent's wall the second he tries to dash through it. This gives Noah an easy kill that gets this team comfortably into the third moving. When third moving pulls, Noah and Vidil try to continue to play to the front side low ground, but another team is able to cut their low ground off. Instead of trying to fight for low ground from the back side of the zone, Noah and Vidil just quickly jump up into the second low ground and get to the front side. From here, they just wait for the low ground team to make a mistake and they're able to jump back on the low ground. Final moving pulls and Noah and Vidil see that there are three other full duos besides themselves in the game. This results in a lot of chaos as these teams try to eliminate the rest of the lobby. Noah and Vidil use this chaos to their advantage by creating a really strong full tarp and playing very close to each other. This allows them to eliminate many duos who split up trying to look for plays to win the game. This results in this game quickly going from four duos, including Noah and Vidil, to three solos and Noah and Vidil. While finding some eliminations on the final moving, Noah and Vidil find hammers for themselves and double hammer onto the high ground and are able to hold it until the final 2v1 where Noah and Vidil are able to jump on two separate angles and quickly finish off the kill. This was how Noah and Vidil won game 8 of the FNCS Week 3 qualifiers, and if you want to watch another team win in the FNCS Weekly qualifiers, go check out the video on screen. Peace.